Hey guys, Toby Morrison here. Welcome to today's video. Yesterday I did a, a post on our Facebook page, CFS Health, and the post said this, you know you've started progressing when you've stopped complaining. Anyway, I left it, I went to bed, and then I woke up this morning and there was a few comments, uh, interesting comments, you know, people going, oh, you shouldn't, you know, tell people to complain, you know, chronic illness is hard, and uh, and then there's other people saying, you're not getting it, like, he's just, he's just saying that it's just like, it's just true, like, it's a true statement, when you're, when you're progressing, you're not complaining, anyway, so this is why I'm doing this video, because I wanted to talk about that, and show you what I was exactly talking about, and uh, just notice that I'm not telling anyone to stop complaining, it's not my business, I don't, it's not, it's just not, it's got nothing to do with me what someone else does in their life. I can't stop that. So, um, I'll ne you'll never, well, you'll never hear me say stop complaining unless, unless I really think, unless you're paying me to tell you to stop complaining, you know, that's different. Um, and I have done that before. So let's clear this up. So have you ever noticed when you're complaining about something for a while and you know, and it just really pisses you off and it affects you and then you just feel shitter about it and you just can't move forwards with it. And then all of a sudden, a few things happen and then, you know, you make your mind up and you move forwards and then all of a sudden you stop complaining and then you realize you're like, you know, 10 steps ahead and you're like, oh, wow, like I'm actually progressing. And the quote is actually based off life. Uh, hey to everyone who's watching this as well. Because when we start progressing, there's usually a correlation in terms of we don't complain. Now, if you look at anyone in history or any person who has done amazing things or have, has, has literally, you know, created something or had a result, when they were doing that, were they complaining or were they just doing it? They were doing it. Now, uh, this, this isn't to uh, dis dismay, you know, anyone's um, struggle. Because we all do it. It's a human trait. Everyone complains. We all complain. I complain. The reason why I did the post was because I had, a, I had an epiphany and realized that last week I was complaining about uh, something, something to do with my personal life and I was getting really pissed off. I think it was about someone else. And then I realized that actually I was in control of it and I could change how I feel about it. And then when I did that, I just stopped complaining and then all of a sudden the situation wasn't even a problem anymore. And that was freaking awesome. So uh, I'm going to show you on the whiteboard. Check it out. This is a really good topic, uh, and I appreciate all your comments that were that were placed in this post. So now this has nothing to do with positive thinking, right? This has nothing to do with positive thinking. So we've got the complainer, right? Then. We've got the doer. The doer can be the change maker. Now, if we see down here, so we've got the complainer. When we're stuck in the complaining mode, shit just starts to go bad, literally. You know, we, we complain about other people. You know the worst thing? You know the worst thing that we complain about is stuff that we can't control. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll write that one down. Stuff that you can't control. How many of we how many of us do that? Do any of you guys do that? Stuff that you can't control, other people. And then our current reality is actually what we complain about the most. right? The complainer, other people, stuff we can't control and we complain about our current reality. Now, ultimately, <clears throat> if, that's, if that's what we're complaining about, especially our current reality, is that going to keep us, is that going to help us move forwards or not? Because I'll show you this. If we start being here, we're complaining about other people, stuff we can't control, 
our current reality, which way is it taking us, forwards or backwards? It's all taking us backwards. We can't progress from there. We're only going to regress because we're being pissed off at ourselves and the situation and we're wasting energy on stuff that we actually can't do anything about because it's changed. But what we can do, the, the good thing about complaining is it creates awareness, right? And so complaining creates awareness and awareness goes over to the doer, right? We've all been here. Everyone goes through this every single day. So the complainer goes down here, starts complaining about other people, starts complaining about things they can't control, starts complaining about their current reality. You know, we, if you're human, you've done this multiple times, maybe even every single day. I think, I think we all do. Anyway, the good thing about complaining is it creates awareness. From awareness, it, it goes to the doer, the changer, the, the, someone who can actually do something about it. Yeah, so awareness is the starting point. Now, let's. everyone talks about awareness. I think it's overused and I think too many people spend too much time in awareness. I certainly did, you know, for a while there. And, you know, I mean, you can't put a time frame on things like that. But, you know, eventually there has to be some change made, you know, some accountability. So you making the change for yourself, whether that's investing in a coach, investing in a program or, you know, talking to someone about it. You need to actually make a change. Now... Up here, we go to the doer. Now, the doer asks better questions. What can I change? The doer finally realizes, okay, what can I change about this? They also ask, what can I do? Does this make sense, guys? If it is, hit the like button so I know that you know this is actually really valuable for you. This is I'm going to sum it up really quickly in a second, and I'm going to give you an answer at the end, which is going to be really good. What can I change? What can I do? All right. So the complainer start with the problem, start complaining, you know, complaining about other people, stuff that we can't control and complaining about our current reality, which ultimately does not help at all, right? It's completely, uh, doesn't help at all, but it creates awareness, yeah? When, when we have awareness, we can go over to the doer, the game changer. When we get to the doer, we ask better questions. We go, what can I do about this? We take responsibility. What can I do? Really, ultimately, it's this. Responsibility. Probably one of the most important words that's not used enough. And it's fucking hard taking responsibility for yourself. It is really hard. It's a lot easier being over here complaining and, and you know, moaning. It's still hard over here and it's still hard over there, but you get a choice. And the choice is, either, is up here. Literally, you're either, you're either going to do or you're going to complain. Uh, and they're both choices and you can choose both of them, right? But if you go this side and you start to become a, a changer and you want to change your situation and you want to do something about it, now it might take you 10 times or 20 times or even more. What can I change? You're moving forwards. What can I do? You're moving forwards, yeah? Taking responsibility, it's moving you forwards. It's making you move forwards. Now, when you do that, you start to create results in your life. When you're over here, <laughs> you literally create more problems. Now, how do I know this? Because I have done it. <laughs> I've literally done it. Now, does this make sense to you guys? Hit the like button if it does, because I, uh, you know, I really want to see that this actually makes sense. Because we've all been there. Like this is a human thing. 
Now, now stop, stop trying to justify where you're at. Like, there's going to be a lot of people justifying, oh yeah, but this is different and I've got this. Stop it. It actually doesn't help. Stop like trying to, you know, express it and go, oh yeah, but this and, no, no, no. This is like fact. This is fact right here. This is life. Life happens. And, and I'm, guys, I'm not saying to stop complaining. I'm just saying there's, there's, this is an option here. This this might be really friggin' helpful for you, but it's up to you. I can't. It's, I don't, it doesn't bother me what you do with this. Life happens. Stuff happens. <laughs> the doer does all this. But let's just say, you know what? We're all human, so we usually go into complainer, and then when we go from to complainer, we usually complain about other people, stuff that we can't control, and our current reality. You know, like, oh, I'm not where I want to be, or why is this happening to me, or I just can't do anything about my life. My life sucks, right? My life sucks, and I just hate it. And it's hard. Like, you feel depressed, you just want to you beat yourself up, then you get stressed, and you feel guilty, and it's just a, it's a shitty cycle. And it's not something that's really funny, to be honest. It's actually crap, and this is why I'm doing this video. Anyway, this all creates more problems, right? Now... That's fine. What usually happens, hopefully, after a while, sometimes it doesn't. Some people stay in this forever, but it's again, it's a choice because they're so buried in their problems. But eventually, hopefully, this creates awareness. All these problems, all this suffering creates awareness. The awareness then takes you to become a doer or a changer. When you're in this situation, there's still problems, right? There's still actual problems. But you start to do it differently. You start to ask yourself better questions. What can I change? What can I do? And actually take responsibility, right? When we do all these three things, it pulls us into a results-based situation. And so we can actually change something about the situation or problem that we're having, right? Responsibility, super, super important. Hey, guys for joining now and watching. This is awesome. So, like I said before, there's no wrong or right, and I'm not telling you to stop complaining, I'm not telling you to harden up, I'm not telling you to, you know, stop being a victim, it's a part of life to go through all those stages, but what I am sharing with you is just a really useful situation um, and truth and statement that literally just means that when, you know, you start, you notice, when you start to progress, you notice that you stop complaining. It's just like one of those things. You just start to move forwards differently. Anyway, just wanted to clear that up. I have a lot of respect for everyone on this page. I'll have a lot of respect to watching this on, on our YouTube channel. Um, and I just really want to help clear that picture because I, you know, I receive messages every single day, like, like literally hundreds a week, hundreds a month and, you know, comments everywhere. And, you know, there's people who are literally over here complaining and going, you don't know what I'm talking about and they're all trying to be right and they're all just creating more stress and more problems and it's just ridiculous. And then, and that's okay, like it's fine. And then there's the doer, there's the other people who message me going, oh, hey Toby, like they're asking better questions. They're saying, how can I help myself? What can I do? Oh, geez, I loved all your free YouTube videos that you did for, did for us. Thank you so much. You know, um, I'm taking responsibility now. And so... Again, like I said before, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you actually do too much differently. You just look at things differently um, and it really helps you move forwards in your life. And it's freaking awesome. I've been on both sides. I'm telling you the one on the right side is way better. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my story, uh, you know, and to be honest, it's not about being perfect. I definitely don't have it all together, but what I do know is that I've, cr I've done some pretty great things in my life, and it's, it's really down to that, um, and that's pretty important to, to share. So, hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, give us some uh, love hearts or, or likes. Let us know uh, if this was helpful, and... Yeah, maybe think about one thing in your life right now that, that, that you're in the complaining mode. Um, you know, you're in the complaining mode and where's one thing? Because we're all in it, guys. It's life. Shit happens. It's not always good and fun. So if you're in a complaining mode right now, 
what could you do to change that over there? Uh, I'm going to leave you with that today. Uh, write it down, do something about it, and see what happens from it. Hope that helps. Take care, guys. Thanks for joining.